denotes the San Francisco branch of cement. So, for our novice coin collector, here's a breakdown of what it means when Lincoln Cent is graded MS68 MS red. And whether it's valuable. MS68 red means, uh, first of all, MS stands for mint state, which indicates that the coin is uncirculated and, had, and has no signs of wear from being used in transactions. Mint state coins are graded on scale from 60 to 70, with 70 representing the perfect coin with no visible flaws under magnification. The number 68 refers to the condition of the coin on the Sheldon grading scale. The MS68 grade means that the coin is in near perfect condition with only very minor imperfections or blemishes that are difficult to notice. It is considered one of the highest grades a coin can receive just below the top grades of MS69 and MS67. So this one was graded MS68 red. According to Heritage Auctions, available in lower grades, the 1941 S. Lincoln Cent is a major rarity in the top red grade level of MS68. The current piece displays rich copper red luster across satiny surfaces. A sharp strike adds to the appeal and no distracting spots detract from it. As you can see, just few, just few marks show up on the reverse. It could get even more, even higher grade without these marks. So this gem, the superb gem, ended up selling for $13,200 at heritage auctions. So the next coin of our episode, the 1972D Washington Quarter, an error, struck on a Philippines 5 centimos planchette. This is a rare incredible error coin, graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. So let's find out more about this coin. The 1972D Washington Quarter struck on Philippines 5 centimos planchet. The Philippines 5 centimos was struck between 1967 and 1974 in brass alloy of 60% copper and 40% zinc. The weight was 2.5 grams. All examples were struck at San Francisco or Denver. The latter facility coined the 1972 issue. On these off-metal quarters, the mint mark is present but indistinct. Let's see where is the mint mark. Yeah, here we go. The mint mark. This D mint mark. It's visible but indistinct. The upper half of the date is clear. You see, it's not fully struck due to improper size of the planchet. The strange yellow-green color, small diameter and partial uncentered design codes attention of finder who added a cluster of pin scratches near the crest of the right facing wing. A narrow nearly vertical strike through across much of the Washington's portrait. Here, this one. Pretty gigantic. And these are so-called cluster of pin scratches near the crest of right wing. So this very rare error coin ended up selling for $480 on August 16, 2024, also at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with this 1945 Mercury Dime, graded in mint state 65 FB by PCGS. The FB is a designation standing for full bands, which is uh, fully struck torch motifs on the reverse side here. It's fully struck and all bands are separated. Let's see, what a beautiful specimen. So let's find out more about this coin and it's attractively toned as well. Perhaps the greatest strike rarity in the entire series, the 1945 Mercury Dime is a celebrated issue with full bands, especially in gem uncirculated condition or finer. This example displays brilliant silver surfaces dappled with bits of reddish gold patina. Here we go, even around the rims. Very nice patination. 
The central band shows full separation and obverse is equally sharp. Gleaming mint luster illuminates the sharply struck devices for outstanding original eye appeal. The coin is housed in an old green label holder. It was sold for $10,200 and just on September 3rd, 2024. Most recent sale. Next up. This highly sought after wartime penny, 1943 D. Lincoln cent. Another mint error in super gem grade. This is 1943 D over D, repunched mint mark variety. As you can see, it was graded MS67 by PCGS and later certified by CEC, the CEC sticker. The mint mark is boldly repunched on this variety, which is scarce in all grades and rare at the superb gem level. If you zoom in, we can see the doubling of the D mint mark. It's repunched. Let's get another photo. We can zoom in further. Here we go. It's clearly repunched. There is doubled shadowy impression here below it. Brilliant pristine luster illuminates satiny surfaces and sharp design elements. No impairments are seen on either side. Let's check out the reverse side as well. It's brilliant and lustrous. Very nice, beautiful gem with excellent eye appeal. So this CAC Pro 1 gem ended up selling for $12,000 at Heritage Auctions. And finally, the last coin of this episode, 1972D Kennedy of Dollar, with flip over double strike error. Graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. A rare error to find on Kennedy of Dollar. This example shows both strikes well centered. The first strike was in color, while in the second strike was out of color, causing the planchette to slightly expand and retain portion of the border legends from the strike one. Satiny nickel gray surfaces yield hints of light golden toning and there are no major abrasions despite the modest numeric grade. So these very rare error coin ended up selling for $7,200 on August 16th, 2024. So thank you for joining me on this journey through some of the rarest US coins. Remember finding a hidden gem in your collection or chain jar can happen when you least expect it. Keep an eye out for key dates, mint marks, and unique errors that make your coin truly special. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to stay updated on more exciting content from the world of numismatics. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Feel free to share your finds or ask questions in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and help you with your coin discoveries. God's willing, see you in the next video. Bye.